Hello everyone, welcome to another new video by Book Tales by Preeta. In this video, I will tell you how you can distinguish between a Xerox book and original book and a second hand book. Watch this video till the end because I am sure it will be very very insightful for all you guys who may have bought a book be it from a shop or from an online store but later on after buying the book you saw that the book is not an original one it's a second hand copy or it is a Xerox version. I will also tell you what these three types of books are in details in this video. I have got a lot of questions on uh, my DMs on, Inst on my Instagram handle as well as on my YouTube channel about readers who have asked that how can we distinguish between which book is original one, which book is a pirated one and which book is a second hand copy. Now uh, for that first let me tell you what are the three types of books. Now this book, this book is an original book. It is In an Antique Land by Amitabha Ghosh. How I understood that this book is original. Firstly, I bought this book uh, from I think uh, Amazon. So uh, on Amazon you will uh, see that when you are buying the books there, you will see uh, in the price section there are many a times there are comments like used books. Generally, the used, in case of used books, the prices are 50 or 60 percent lower than the original price. But in case of original books, if the actual price of the book is 399, uh, the original book you will get it maximum at 350 at normal period. Maybe during a sale you will get at a higher concession rate. And it is during these sale time when they give books at dirt cheap rate. We think that. Are wow, we have got this book at such dirt cheap rate. That time what happens, there are chances, especially in case of Flipkart, when it can be a second hand book or a Xerox book. Now, in original book, the first you will see the cover. The cover is prim and proper. Second, you will see this page. Also, you can see this one the title of the book in the page next to the cover page how it is written third you can see the page quality the texture of the page the thickness of the page in uh, case of original book also in original book you will also check the font the font is generally proper the page quality you know in original books if you generally strike with uh, any pen it in most of the cases it does not the ink does not blot to the next page but this is very very common if the book is a xerox book now in case of xerox now i will show you a xerox book by the same author this is gun island by amitabh Ghosh. this is a xerox one now firstly the price of the book okay i bought this book knowingly it's a Xerox book. I was getting it I think for 100 or 120 rupees and uh, firstly it is the cover that told me okay now this is a Xerox book. Second in Xerox books the writing the pattern of writing the text the font is different in majority cases. Thirdly the paper quality. The paper quality varies you know you can uh, in uh, Xerox version generally these papers are thinner original books have thicker page quality also when you turn the book and you come over here you can see the these writings uh, the price of the book the maybe the publisher's name is also written they, these things can make you identify that this book is a xerox version also i have seen it is not i'm not getting in this particular book but what happens some pages are missing in Xerox books or you can see the font straight over here. Here the uh, font sometimes goes like this. It's not in a straight line. It may be curved. Sometimes it's rubbed. Some pages come white. I have seen many books like that in case of Xerox books. I uh, One of my favorite book is Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. 
I uh, bought it from Fountain near in Bombay, and that was my first experience of a Xerox book. So this is I am talking back in 2008, and you know, uh, in that particular book, I too bought the book. But later on, I found that some pages I still remember the page numbers from 98 to 112 pages were missing. Already, I am into the book. I am liking the story, and then I see that 12 pages are missing. So you can understand. So in if you are buying a Xerox version, please see the pages, the num, the pages, the page numbers, the all the chapters are present. The printing quality, the printing quality also makes you identify between a Xerox book and an original book. Also, the price of the book. You generally get these books in the second-hand book market. They come anywhere between. 80 to 220 rupees, while the original book may cost more than 300, 400 rupees. So that is the thing. Now, but if you are like somebody like me, who prefers reading physical copies of books rather than reading the books online, then you can go for Xerox version. But in that case, when you are buying Xerox books, definitely see these things which I have told you. Also. Now I will tell you about second-hand books. Second-hand books are generally the books that book readers sell it to the second-hand booksellers at a dirt cheap rate, and the second-hand booksellers again resell those books. Like for example, this particular book, Sea of Poppies. I'm yet to read it. This is another popular book series by Amitabh Ghosh. This is the first book of the series. Now this is a second-hand book. How I understood by the print quality by the page quality somebody has sold this book to the second hand book vendor and the second hand book vendor again resold it to me the original price of this particular book is 500 rupees and it is published by penguin i got this book i if not wrong anywhere between 180 to 200 rupees and see it's a thick book you can understand from the pages the quality of the pages the generally in case of uh, second hand books the pages are like this like you will see it has turned yellow okay and again another uh, second hand book is this one i had shown in one of my previous videos this book this book is a book from the agatha christie collection and this book see this is again an old second hand book you also have the name of the person who had previously had this book here is some numbers i have not put it you know many a times i have seen that when i collect second hand books it tells story i had a book by jeffrey archer that book uh, the concerned person whose book it was it had the concerned person name and the date written was 1988 i bought that book in 2020 if not wrong so 19 not 1998 sorry it was 1988 so every second hand book definitely has a story to see it is passing from one reader to another in between there is a book vendor so definitely collecting second hand books is also one of my favorite uh, pastime apart from buying and holding books i also hold second hand books i love if i get some good second hand books i definitely collect it even though there may be that i have the good quality of a new version of the book i collect the second hand version now and you know second hand books i love these kind of pages the yellow yellow tinge in the pages you will see in the which is there on second hand books so this is second hand books and uh, second hand books you generally get it offline online uh, they generally mention it if you buy it from amazon or flipkart in some cases mostly i have seen this in amazon they write it as used books the prices are low and uh, you can man uh, it depends on your mindset like how you want to buy a book you want to buy a second hand copy you want to buy a xerox copy you want to buy the original book there is difference in the price there is difference in the mindset there is like i i still i do read books on my phone on my tab but still physical a physical book for me is more worth than any other uh, forms of reading i uh, also i do not prefer hard cover i prefer these kind of books because 
it is easier to read if you are laying on the bed and reading and i have a habit of laying on the bed and read so these are certain things that i thought can help you next time when you get your books do keep in mind the pointers that i have mentioned do check the prices because books prices tell a lot also who is the seller it is important to see who is the seller is the seller verified by amazon is the seller verified from flipkart if you are going to second hand book market and buying books uh ask them whether it is a xerox copy they generally don't tell you until and unless you are a repeat customer in that case definitely check the page quality the cover the price of the book the font and when you are buying the books online especially during the sale season or if you see suddenly the books price has gone down to a very uh, big extent in that case do keep in mind these pointers i hope this will help you and i will come up with another video on books on movies on my channel book tales by preetha till then tata goodbye and have a great day ahead